here. Today we're going to be testing my water in the tank. Well, it's been about nine days right now. And um, I got a Sarah's GH test kit, the API Master Kit. I already used a clean syringe, put five mils of water in each. And I also have a TDS pen for both the temperature and for the TDS itself. First up, let's turn on the TDS meter. Turn to zero. These you put it in the water. Make sure you get it down to about the line and let it count up. We're at about 86 TDS. And let me turn it to Fahrenheit here. And we're at 66.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is actually pretty good because Caradina want the water a little bit lower temperature. Um we're going to follow this the way it says. Let's start off with the GH. The Sarah GH test kit is nice. They give you a large vial. You put five mils of water in, and for every one drop of the Sarah kit, that is one GH. First, you got to make sure when you start it off that you get all that air out before you give it the first drop. That way, that's all uniform in size. I'm not there yet, as you can see. So, first drop goes in. You swirl it around. There's one. There's two. Notice the water's a little red. It's not green yet. There's three. Still a pinkish... There's four. It's beginning to turn. Hopefully she turns here at five. Well, actually, no, she's green now. So TDS, I mean, um, my GH here is four. Now, we're going to follow the actual instructions for each of these with three drops and such not. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back now. I've added all the drops. Start off with the pH. I found when doing this, you always hold it against a white background here. It'll actually help give you the closest color comparison. Now, I notice the camera here looks a lot yellow like 6.0. However, it's somewhere in between 6.0 and 6.4. It's actually got a slight greenness to it. I don't know if the camera will actually pick that up right. But when holding it to the white background, it's right in the middle of the two. So let's call that 6.2. Next up is my ammonia. The ammonia here is a little green. And it's pretty close to being that 0.5. It actually means that the soil and the SEMO is beginning to do its job and adding the ammonia properly. Okay, my nitrite is still at zero which hopefully means my nitrate is still at zero too. So it's not cycled yet, but you keep testing this once a week until the ammonia, the nitrite, and the nitrate all are at zero. And hopefully that will help out a lot. Let's write this stuff down because it's actually more important to keep, that, keep track of this. Let me fill this out real quick and then that way I got a memo for next time. All right, I'm back. I know it's kind of hard here, but these are my numbers today. So far, everything's on track. We're going to keep track of this every once a week. You can see so far, though, the water's doing good. The filter's already beginning to get a little sumps on it. And actually, I know this is hard to get without... The, there we go. That's without a glare. Oh, and of course, my timer likes to turn itself off. I'm at my six-hour mark, but let me turn that back on for a minute. Okay. You can see here, Java Moss is doing well. So, Ossertang looks good. And then on to the other side. This so Ossertang's beginning to look really good. I don't know if I can get it to focus right. It's trying to zoom in. But... There's testing for you. 
as an update, I picked up two more 10 gallons at the dollar a gallon sale at Petco. I still have a couple of sandstones and I have a bunch of substrate left. So, hopefully next time I check in, I should have a couple of more tanks. It all comes down to getting the lights in first. Hope you guys, that helped you guys out a lot.